Welcome back to Prey Moon Crash. Returning as VJ, first character of our second run, we just unlocked all of the volunteer rooms inside of this Psy Research Facility. Let's check them out. Question mark, question mark, 1700. What is that? Yeah, so three we couldn't unlock. Have to... Has to be done from Riley U's office. Oh, there's neuromods in there. And a body. Too far, too fast, one. First excerpt from a commercialization of the space program J.V. Edwards, Ph.D. In Kennedy's second term, the space race reached new heights and without his support may have sputtered completely. I feel like... I'm not sure if I've read this from the original Prey either. I don't know if they reused stuff or not. I'll just read it anyway. A succession of moon launches heralded the coming of an accelerated energetic space program both within the halls of government and in the public eye. Unusual at the time, especially in contrast to Kennedy's first term, rather than being simply a race between two powers, the Soviets and the United States seem to be reaching out to space together. Yeah, I think I did read that in the original Prey. Oh, you know, this, like, super good containment room, I bet this was, uh... I forgot his name, but the, the first character you play as. I bet that was their room. Because remember, we just recently found out in the last episode that they were a, a quote-unquote volunteer test subject, or in containment at least. Do we need all this food? Eh, not really. <laughs> Survivor's account of the evacuation, day two. Yeah, also, I'm almost certain I read those in the original Prey. Four neuromods. Oh, we can get a bunch of stuff. Oh, I can't install anything while I have a concussion. Well, shit. Oh, hello. Wait. Oh, I already came from up there, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, that's where I destroyed the, uh, things that I forgot the name of from up there, throwing the shampoo bottle down and stuff. Okay. So I've already been there. That's where we unlocked the rooms. Let's check out executive level escape pods, R&D labs. What's this place? Deployment. to find a recycler. I should really take that control module. Containment door controls. Huh. Can't do either. Gunshots? What's going on over there? We hear live fire. Are you shooting volunteers? Right in the labs? Our security shutters are still stuck open over here. Uh, Hugo, a stray bullet into the weapons lab would level the facility. I'm contacting Riley. Yeah, let me see if there's a recycler nearby. Typhon Lunar ad Adaptation. Excerpt from a Typhon Field report by Dr. Schwanholz. To date, every report from Talos 1 is showing a consistent slate of properties and behaviors for Typhon Cocoplasmus mimics with no known variations, unlike Typhon Anthrophantasmus. However, so far we have several documented deviations in more than one Typhon since testing began here on Pythias. This was first discovered during a routine volunteer expiration. <laughs> routine volunteer expiration. 
<laughs> Welp is volunteer. Volunteer. Expired. They got a bit moldy. Had to throw them out. It happens. Volunteer expiration in the main crater. It was observed that the resultant mimic mimics manifested several psychoactive energy states. Electromagnetic, thermal, etheric, sometimes appearing all in one multiplication cycle. This observation, along with last week's fatal yet interesting incident where a Typhon Dysmorpha disarmed and killed a security officer, leads us to hypothesize that the lunar environment is inducing new behaviors and abilities in the Typhon population. We will soon begin full testing and rotation to confirm findings. I'd really like to get rid of this concussion. I like how when you throw anything, even if it's super light, you throw it with super strength because you're super strong. So like, yeah, this headset that weighs like 50 grams at most. <clears throat> Shit. I don't have any stop times, right? Nope. All right, we're going up. None of the force fields in there have just disappeared or anything. That's good. I think they may have been upgraded to Phantom 2s. I don't think they were Phantom 2s before. So yeah, let's see if there's some recyclers over here. Right, I forgot they can actually see you through the windows of the doors. Shock would be good. Which one's better? They're both the... Well, one has better integrity, but they both are upgraded the same amount. I didn't realize it'd be so effective against the nest. I may have tons of ammo for this thing, I don't mind using it. Oh, how's my suit, by the way? I should probably repair it. Oh, Jesus, fuck! That's so loud! Scares the shit out of me. Okay, well, I've got bullet time going on. I should probably go attack that thing in just a second, but let's repair my suit. Oh. Oh, it's locked. Never mind. Like to what? Found you. Cannot reproduce the problem. Don't worry, I will disassemble you until I'm sure. God, the things they say are creepy. This is a security reminder. Exotic material is restricted to the Pythias labs and crater. Violations will result in immediate disciplinary action, up to and including termination. Every time it says, every time it says "found you," it, I, it sounds kind of like it says "fuck you." Second sciences, escape pods. That'd be my last resort. Phantom. Just a basic phantom, though. Ooh. 
It's a bunch of mimics. Let's go for it. Not bad, that was pretty good. Efficient. It's so nice not to have friggin' tentacle nests in here. Just eat some of the food, but I'm not gonna bother with the other stuff. Right. Recycler. Is there anyone nearby? It's fairly safe in here, at this point. Sure like to get in that storage room. Let's try upstairs. Never room. Riley, you. Did you have anything to recycle? Oh, now that I'm in the director's office, I probably don't have the password for the computer, but I could try to unlock the uh, the cell. Scanning. Neuroimaging shows your mental resources. This should help. You should feel more alert. Stuff and stuff and stuff and more stuff that I can't take. Must be downstairs, their controlling computer. Is it done from here? Yep, gotta be Riley you. Yeah, so I guess I guess the only way really to... Oh, well, if I had hacking I could get in there. But either hacking or I need to be Riley you. To be able to get into number three of the volunteer cells. Seven neural mods now. Ooh. Oh, right. I still can't install them because I still have a concussion. Shit. Okay, well, I need the Q beam. I gotta make room. I know this is getting ridiculous, but I have a complete extreme aversion to actually getting rid of the stuff in my inventory to make room for other things until I find a recycler. I don't know why, but I just refuse to do it, so I'm just going to keep searching for a recycler. Uh, this is back down here, around where that thing was saying, fuck you, <laughs> the corrupted engineering operator. Uh, so I'm going to go towards Typhon Sciences. Looks kind of promising. I could shoot through this. Hold on. I have an idea. Wait, I don't have the Hunter's Bolt Caster, do I? I was thinking of pressing the button on the door from the other side, but... Yeah, I can't do that, and I can't just shoot it with a gun, right? That's too inaccurate, anyway. Yeah, no Bolt Caster. Yeah, like, what is going on in here? I've never been in there. Shock it? Let me see if there's an explosive nearby. Yeah, that'll be better. Don't forget, it'll explode in my face. Nice. Whoa, what is that? I mean, that's just a mimic, but New psionic aptitude available. that's got to be like the mimic portal, right? That I need to escape through for one of the characters. Oh, there's so much cool stuff here. Okay, but seriously, where's the recycler? <laughs> Please. Oh, 
I could just bust through that. Yeah, I don't need to repair it. <gasps> there it is! Is that weapons research? Fuck! Ah! <sighs> okay, just forget about it for now. Start back at the beginning and let's just look at all this cool stuff. Instead of recycling. Psychometrics. What is that? It's glowing like it can be picked up. Weapon chamber door. Oh. Hold on, let's read my email first. Good morning, Ming. I'm sorry I laughed at you, it just sounded crazy at the time. But now I'm actually a little worried. I heard they found another one during the sweep yesterday, so maybe you're right. If even security is being tapped, that would explain why the code to the labs is being changed. Obviously, they need to keep the weapons labs as secure as possible under the circumstances. If there's a mole working for Cosma, who do you think it could be? And is it even safe to discuss over mail? Brian Chung has been acting really stressed. Wait a minute. Wait, who am I? Not, not this character that I'm playing as now, but the person I'm playing as who's playing this simulation. A mole working for Cosma. I mean, I have my Cosma orders. So I am working on behalf of Cosma, and Cosma is some sort of rival to this company? It's interesting to think about because, aside from my, my character just trying to fulfill their contract, I never really thought about the wider context of why are we being ordered to do this, to enter this simulation and try to, I guess, recover as much information as possible? What exactly are we doing? Are we just trying to get their trade secrets or something? And by we, I mean them. I mean, obviously I don't give a shit about this. I'm sure my character just wants to go home and fulfill their contract, but... Yeah. Psychostatic Cutter. Excising material from the Typhon for neural development may become easier as we fabricate the Psychostatic Cutter. The premise is a bit obtuse, but in layman's terms, we're recycling the Psy and heavily upgraded volunteers and dumping it into a surgical tool that we can use to harvest Attention, exotic materials from the Typhon without the current hurdles. This is Officer Padia, head of security. Don't have enough space. Well, guess we gotta leave it then. Okay, maybe I can get rid of crumpled paper. It's a prototype weapon that utilizes psionic interference to cause mental damage as well as physical damage. Uh, I can swing it, press and hold to charge your attack, release a psionic projectile that ignores physical barriers. Whoa. All psychostatic cutter attacks will drain your stamina. Charge attacks consume psi points. Okay. But I can go through physical barriers, as in like through doors and stuff? Also, causing mental damage as well as physical damage. Sounds like it'd be good against actually the moon shark. Although I don't know if I'd want to use a melee weapon against the moon shark. Although I guess if you charge it up, it's not really melee because it's shooting a projectile, but still. Fascinating. So, is there any reason not to use this over the wrench? Does it just do more base damage? Melee damage 10 for the wrench, melee damage 23. Okay, so it's just better. Stam- oh wait. 90%. Stamina cost 75. Oh, that's all the way upgraded. 75 stamina cost doesn't mean it takes up 75% of my total stamina, I think. I think it means it takes up 75% of the base level of stamina because it's upgraded. If that makes sense. I think. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna... <laughs> just gonna use it in my one slot instead of the other thing. Does it have durability, by the way? 
Doesn't look like it. Yeah, and the melee damage is upgraded all the way. 23 to 44 damage, unmodified it does 5 to 10. So it does a lot more damage in its current state. That is such a cool weapon. Okay. Now I want to try to shoot something through walls. Take a look at the isolation chamber. What's the emergency? Is this mimic you brought me? Something is definitely wrong with it. It keeps throwing various shoes at me. Are they nice shoes? I'm serious. It's like it's punching holes to somewhere. A universe of shoes? I don't know. But my point is, someone with sufficient Typhon abilities and a strong attachment to someplace else, like a... Like a place on Earth? Yes, exactly. Then I think you could open a door, maybe even walk through it. It might be more like getting sucked through a very tiny, tiny straw. I think I could tweak the containment shield to stabilize the mimic. We need Riley's permission to run this. Well, what are you waiting for? I'll be in the lab. Repair the containment device door controls. Yeah, so that's the mimic portal. Hack workstation that controls the mimic experiment. So is that now one of my escape opportunities? One of my... Yeah, so now it's just... So I guess the more you discover, the more it adds to your potential to escape. So these will all count as an escape, of course, but none of them are the story objective. So any character can unlock these different ways to escape, and then it's unlocked for everybody else, I guess? Repair 2. Well, that's only happening as Joanne Winslow. Yeah, so I need Joanne Winslow to repair it, and also somebody to hack it. Can Joanne hack? I don't remember if that was in their skill tree. Wish we didn't have to sneak around. Weapons Lab 0102. Yes! Okay, I can recycle. Thank God. Wait a minute, brain pills. That might be for concussions. Yes! Oh, thank God. Now I can finally spend my neuro mods. Let's get leverage 2. And then also mobility 1. So just overall movement speed 25% faster. Oh yeah. God, I feel like a total badass being able to run super fast and I've got this like death laser sword. Okay, let's go recycle. So there's really no reason to be precious about my crafting materials. I might as well use them. They're just gonna go to waste if I don't do anything with them. Surprisingly, I actually can't make very much. But I can make a recycler charge. Going up in corruption. Blue cannon. Nice. I desperately need more inventory space. Control module. Okay, now I have no inventory space. I have a bunch of stuff here to recycle. No space. Are there some weapons I should just get rid of? Surely I don't need this many weapons, right? There we go. Dump my wrenches and my disruptor gun, as well as its ammo. So I've got the Q-beam now. I got a decent amount of space. I've got so much food, too. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I never went in here. I never went in there either. Yeah, all right. Let's go to the <laughs> let's go to the morgue. Ooh, I regret that. Fire hazard. Please remove potential hazards from test area. Oh, God, it's moving. I'm glad it didn't break. Oh no. I'm shot off a side projectile. I'm used to charging up the wrench, but I did not want to do that here. Wow, that is really powerful. Can read that if you'd like. Pies. What do we have here? T1 compression series O2 plus increases your suit's maximum oxygen reserves and decreases the rate of oxygen consumption. Am I ever going to go out into space? Into a, or any place that doesn't have oxygen? It hasn't happened so far. I guess that implies I might at some point. Beam. I'll just leave it then. I don't have room for the neuro mod. Went ahead and crafted an escape pod navigation chip just in case I end up needing it. Remember, more success of escapes equals more points. I know I'm not going to quote unquote win this time on this run through, definitely not, but it's good to get more points. I guess I'll just recycle the Q beam. Wondering where I should head next. I guess towards the escape pods. I don't know if I actually intend to escape right now, but at least maybe there'll be something new there. I can see if I even can escape this way. Oh, right. I remember this area. Path. No escape pods remaining. Please try another escape pod station or contact security for emergency assistance. That doesn't go very far. That was very cool looking now. Uh, not that. There we go. Didn't actually do anything, did it? Oh fuck! Mm. Hold on, I'm gonna freeze time. I think that'll give me some more time to do this before it gets ruined.
At least it gives me an excuse to eat a lot of food. Yeah, I swear when I shot the the side beam thing out of this, it said critical on the enemy, but the health didn't go down? Also, it seems to have a really short range. I'm not really sure how that works. But I think it should be used up close. Oh right, it tells you who last used it, right? I was used by Leah Tevitt, so if I needed it in there, I could try to track him down. There's an escape pod. Does it need that module thing that I have? Uh, do I have two of them now? Yeah, these are the same. Looks like, looks like it goes there, but how, how do I install it? I don't get it. Maybe this thing needs power? I think it, it because it's broken, it doesn't have power, though. I guess this is just not gonna work? Okay. Well, since I'm here and I... Oh, wait, why do I have two of these, though? Like, why was there just one right there? I feel like the only reason it's there is because it's broken to suggest, hey, this thing's broken, you need another one, but it's the same as the one I just fabricated. I don't get it. Either way, I think I'm going to leave one here for another character. Let's also use my delay time. Huh. Rejected. Oh, another delay time. Yeah, I suppose the delay times actually make it sort of worth it to uh, kill some of the harder enemies and not just necessarily escape past them. Try to kill them if you can, assuming resources and abilities allow you to, because the more powerful stuff tends to drop the delay time things, which are very valuable. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. I think I've finished exploring down there. I think the next place I'm going to check is the executive level at the top of the Pythes Labs. And then after that, I guess we'll probably take the tram to either the crew annex or the moonworks.